always have to recheck with the captain because both of us have no clue. Anyway, we've got, we've left today, so oh, you'll see we left Trinidad in the background. And we're heading out. It's so nice, it's so nice to be back on the water. We arrived here on the 1st of June. In Tobago, yeah. June in Tobago, and then we were in um, Trinidad, I think the 12th or the 13th of June. 9th of June, we had no clue. And midnight GMT. We find ourselves in a slightly strange position where we're going. The blue line is, is where we're actually going, and uh, we're going straight into wind despite the fact that we're sailing at 40 degrees off it. Uh, we've got so much stuff on the bottom of the boat, we're crawling along. I've really got to clean it off. We'll do it so we can get to Grenada, but the water was too dirty to get into. And, uh, the trouble is we're only doing two to three knots, two and a half to three knots, which is uh, not great. But if this is right, it seems somewhat bizarre, we are sailing straight into wind. So the sun has risen on our first uh, morning at sea this time and uh, we've got a bit of a problem here. We've got a cargo ship called Palina coming in. Uh, it's going to pass 37 meters, 20 meters in front of us. It's doing 19 knots. It's 314 meters long, apparently. And uh, I've tried raising him on the VHF and he's not answering at all. We're in a bit of a problem here. and pieces and strings 
we are in Grenada. This is St. George's in here. And we are just sort of on the edge of uh, Grand Ancy, which is the beach along here when you see all the lights. And we're on a mooring ball, which we picked up first time. Well done, Commodore. Yep. And uh, it was a team effort that we did. It was fortunate to also that the condi think, conditions think, were pretty I benign. Think finding it was more challenging than trying to, yes. to pick up the boy. Unfortunately, we arrived in the dark, so it was tricky. Anyway, the numbers uh, we've done uh, this month: eighty-eight point eight nine eighty eighty-nine for cash, <coughs> seventy-six since midnight uh, GMT. That is, and uh, we motored most of the way, so it's, it's no significance. Ten point eight knots was the maximum. Uh, wind speed we had and the maximum speed over the ground we had was 4.8 so pretty poor stuff but there we go it is what it is hello oh, Commodore what's occurring oh, just like Shagaramas really oh, no more Shagaramas <laughs> thank you <laughs> this is much better you see you get you get quite selective when you've been in so many beaches. <laughs> you can't take chivaramas anymore. Commodore, this looks very nice. Can you tell us what's occurring? Mm. We went to the fish market this morning. I've got some fresh mahi mahi, which we just cooked now in a nice um, flour and egg batter, with some herbs. And we're having John's fries, his favorite fries. Done in our air fryer. And some peas and mayo and some fresh garnish, tomato and lettuce. All washed down. Fishy Friday. Yes, all washed down with a nice glass of Sauvignon Blanc. Mm, yeah. Cheers, everybody.
Chaguye. Ashes, ashes, ashes. And Rana, and I only inquire that the the fit workers who would like to go on the runners, but I'm telling you, the runners have some distance and to beat time. And well, also the, the workers have a little challenge today. I have to tell you straight out, they have a little challenge today. So don't kill me when you come back. You just had a challenge from last week. You had it easy and nice. So it's a little, so it's a little difficult today, but the workers have a little challenge today. But anyhow, we'll make it. We're fitting up, okay? Yeah, so. So, Alan, don't mirror, and somebody's going to, to direct you after, and you can go. So, Alan. Okay, Commodore. Again. I thought hash cake was banned. I thought hash cake was banned. I need to have a chat with some of my friends here. Happy birthday, Jamal. Here we have the Commodore, hard at work, cleaning Guys, the... Guys, somebody come and rescue me, please. <laughs> Life's tough. You see, this is what you want to have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You've got to have elbow boots in these elbows. <laughs> and tough line. Yeah, it's really... So Commodore, what are you having? I'm having the home hand. I 
ice cream from the chocolate track. This is the chocolate from the museum in Grenada. So, what are we having? Mm. I'm having vanilla and chocolate flavored ice cream. I'm what having, are you having? I'm having Sarasol and chocolate. So, let's give it a try. And this is T Mill from Jeez. Hungary. The Sandra and Hung there we go. Our Hungarian bag. Hungarian, yes. yes. And you know the, the, the autograph is of a famous swimmer, Hungarian swimmer. And it's an actual. Uh, the best of water. So, uh,